Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsburn. So I told you that we were going to sell some stuff and get another tractor and that's what we're going to do. We actually have, uh, if I go and check on this guy, he is almost full. Um, I want to keep the combine rolling so we definitely need another tractor. Uh, we sell this for that amount, uh, 42.9. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that and the rest of the stuff. So we won't be doing any grass working until we get some animals. And I really wanted chickens. But uh, apparently we're not allowed to have chickens, so that is a thing. Um, also, to DB, I did look at the F1 menu, so unless I'm like seriously overlooking the key, I don't see where I can change the uh, the uh, the type of our flatbed trailer on the fly. So I'm, I may be uh, overlooking it um, or something. I, I I don't know what I'm doing, so uh, please enlighten me if you would. Um, but yeah, we're going to buy the tractor. We're not going to get the, the most uh, horsepower. I was hoping to have, you know, the 261 because that would be freaking cool. But uh, we, we don't have that luxury right now. So I'm hoping to buy the tractor and a plow because we need to make the, the most out of the land that we have right now. All right, let's get this guy uh, off of a worker. That way we're not uh, wasting a bunch of money. So yeah, that is the the plan for today, is to get that going. We'll get this guy on cart duty because it's the fastest. And the uh, the other tractor uh, on field work. So um, construction is still going on here. It's going to be like an all winter thing. So if you hear random pounding noises or anything weird, I'll, I'll try to edit it out the uh, the best that I can. But you know what? Sometimes we just can't. So I need to get this guy over here, and we're gonna put the the big tall sides on it. I really do like this thing. It's very versatile. But uh, uh, we may be in the market for a bigger one, just uh, for the ease of uh, you know, like some of these places are really far away. Um, so, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was paying attention to the sound in the background and really messed up. Oh. Hmm. That hurts. Like, that hurts a lot. Um, like, a lot, lot. Oh, God. Okay, well, I mean, I was talking about upgrading, so, yeah. Might as well um, get something bigger. So, we'll go with this. Um, I guess we'll just buy it standard. Uh, main color... White look. Oh god, that looks horrible. Round deer green. Even worse. Green, green of this. There we go. Okay, so we'll buy this. Yes. Um, I'll have to buy this back at some point. Um, but for right now we won't worry about it. So yeah, the seventy two hundred pro is ninety eight grand. What kind of motor can we get? Okay, we're one seventy twenty, that's gonna leave eight thousand dollars. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll buy this at 170. Go ahead and buy this, yes. And one more thing. Plows. That one says 180. I don't know how much I believe that. Hmm. Uh, do I try it? Do I try it? Like, I'm scared. It's 10 horsepower. Uh! Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get this. There we go. Okay, I may have just, like, royally screwed myself here. But I think it's fine. Possibly.
Oh, what am I doing? God, this is not going to pull that, I like, at all. So, yeah, the thing is, I want to keep the, the combine going uh, as much as I can. So, what this guy? How's this look on the inside? This is a lot more traditional, I think. And I did look on the Google, and I found one of these for sale. I actually found a lot of them for sale in Germany, so... That is a good thing. I really hope that you guys cannot hear all the sawing that's going on right now. Like, it is so loud. I mean, it seems to haul it. Uh, does it fold up? Okay, it does fold up. Does it have, like, a transport mode? It does not appear to have a transport mode. Alright, so we're going to be using this to expand our field. Um, probably to this edge or so. But, first we need to get this guy up there. Now, um, we can have a talk about the, uh, uh, the wrench here, the... The hurtfulness of our uh, tractor here. I am slightly worried that it is going down faster than the amount of fuel that we're using. Like, that does not make very much sense to me at all. So, <laughs> hopefully, um, that gets dialed back a little bit because that's going to be a little bit ridiculous. We also need a pressure washer. Uh, some of our stuff is looking ridiculous. <laughs> We've got, like, a bunch of stuff that we got to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy um, up there to field two, uh, get the uh, harvester going again, and yeah, I'll get back to the case and we'll start our our expansionism because we are Marka and we love expanding. So, or is that British? Who is the more expansionist era? Us or yeah, Britain? Hmm. Oh well. No politics in the chat, by the way. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys here in a second. Alright, so we need to move our cedar out of the way first. Planter, whatever we're going to call it. Uh, and get this show on the road. Um, we're going to expand the bottom and the side uh, as much as we can. So, I think that this is going to be the correct decision. I kind of miss the old plow, though. I, d I don't like the look of these. I don't know what it is. Um, the Agramaz stuff. I, I, I think it's the color more than anything. Like, I, d I just... It's an ugly color to me. And I'm not the biggest fan. Alright, so we need to flip this sucker. I think this is right. Yeah, this is right. And we put her down in the dirt here and hit white. There we go. Hey, look at there. We're back to making fields like we used to. All right, it's definitely feeling the tug. But uh, I think that this is going to be worth it. I really do. Like, um, any, any time that we can make extra cash. Now, we're not going to go all the way over. But uh, a few swipes with this thing is going to be more than enough. I think right there is where we want this. Go ahead and get our flip on. Upper C has completed their task. Upper C is an absolute liar. Oh, that was me. Oops. Apparently, I am the liar. All right, so what do we know? I've never done plowing in 19, so how is furrow driving going to work here? Is it actually a thing? Oh, we got a dip. I know it does it in 17 a little bit, but I've never, like, really tried to do it. It looks a little bit better for non- or textured, and it's working pretty good. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this outcome. Alright, so we want to go there. 
And go ahead and flip it. And if somebody hadn't left a bale right in the ditch. We'd be alright, wouldn't we? Get it down. And now I've hooked the bail. Wonderful. Well, we'll just drag it along for a ride here. I'm I'm pretty happy with this outcome. It actually drives pretty good. Like that's the that's the surprising part. Alright. I think right there is good enough. Now, if I'm thinking right, whoa. Okay, we may need to wait. We're like on some really hilly stuff, by the way. Um I think that they call this on land. Right? So we wanna Wouldn't be on the own land portion, and we'd flip and get in that furrow. I think this is the right way to do this. I really don't believe that we have enough power. Oh, we need to empty out here. Alright, let's get right back into it. Yeah, I wanted to dodge that little bit right there. The, I know the combine is not going to enjoy that, so I knew that we shouldn't even try. But I think with what we're doing right here, um, we've gained like a lot of land. Well, not like a great amount, but it's it's enough land to, you know, be uh, be worth it, I believe. Now I would go ahead and just you know plow up the rest of the land and everything, but until we get the power upgrade, I think that it's going to be. That in a front weight, we like we really need a front front weight right now. Um, it's something that we'll we'll kind of wait on um, until we get some other things going on. I want the combine to pay for itself first before you know any other fun toys. That is like number one on my list of things that need to get done. Uh, and, and you know it's doing a pretty good job. Um, I think. Whenever we get into some of the bigger headers and stuff, um, combining will actually end up paying for itself uh, a lot better. Uh, I'm really trying to go faster in this Let's Play than I have before as far as things coming along. Because if you remember uh, Lone Oak, it took us like 70 episodes. And then we were finally like... To the point that we were making money, you know, like really, really good. So, um, I think I want to focus more on making a lot of money. That way we can experience a lot of the other things. And then, um, as we move on to other maps, you know, we can always slow it back down. But, I don't want to bore everybody with, you know, small time farming 24-7. Um, because I know that that can get a little bit, uh... A little bit odd and frustrating like we're really spinning this is like I'm glad that we're spinning you know what I mean um, hopefully everybody knows what I mean but I'm glad that we we've got some physics in we're not like race cars 24 7 um, there were a few tractors in 17 that were a little bit overpowered and we couldn't uh, like, I refused to buy some of them. They were just too strong. You could do whatever you wanted to with them. And, uh... And I was really picky about mods, too. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit on... Uh, outside mods this time. I wanna see what the community actually comes up with. And if they're gonna, you know, do a good job. Uh, FS17, yeah, they, they had some pretty good mods and stuff. But, uh... A lot of it was trash. I mean... I'm I'm pre I'm like the hater of the mods. I, I know that sounds really weird because I play with mods like every day, but uh, you know I like good mods. 
and I hate trash mods. Um, that was like the biggest thing. Um, and a reason that I stopped doing mod reviews, honestly, because I had so many that were bad. Um, you know, I didn't understand the modding community, who was doing what, what was actually worth doing. I was just going to random janky sites and pulling mods out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, this sucks. You know, um, some of them were really good. The, uh, the car pan thing. Uh, I done like the funny mod review of that. Uh, I really liked it, and we used it a lot on Altenstein. That was probably like my favorite tipper mod uh, for smaller farms. And then I done the Soviet one, and it's cool. Don't get me wrong, the Soviet pack was really really cool, but it was like from FS like twelve or something. I don't, I don't know. It was uh, it was very very dated. And it was, uh, it was showing its age. Um, if the models and everything got updated, then that kind of farming would be kind of cool. Like, I don't understand this turn either. What is with this worker turn? Uh, <laughs> so we're going to have to learn all the, uh, all the worker habits again. And that's going to be interesting. But, uh, yeah, mo most of the mods for FS17 were, like, regurgitated garbage. I took a mod from FS11 and I converted it. I'm a modder. No, no, no. You're a converter. That is, you, you convert things. You don't really mod them. You, you've you converted the thing. Um, <laughs> and that really, like, I, ugh, there were so many bad ones. Um, and I promoted them was the bad thing. I was like, yeah, man, that's a cool mod. And then I look back on it, I'm like, wow, that thing sucked. Let's never talk about that again. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, that's one of the coolest sounds. You hear that? It's like trying to work so hard. Like, as it starts accelerating, it's like, and you know, you can like hear the turbos pulling and everything. That's really neat. I don't remember any of the other ones doing that. Like, this thing, we we're giving it a workout. Uh, five for a plow with 170 horse is probably. A bit much. Um, it probably worked fine on all the other fields, though. Um, but uh, because we're, you know, broke, we don't get good land. We get the really, really crap land. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's uh, it's a thing that we have to put up with. Not a bad thing by any means, but uh, just a product of circumstance, I guess. So far, the tractor's great. I don't know what fuel consumption is. I figure it's quite high. Um, the plow actually works really, really well. I'm, like, pleased that I am missing, you know, little things, and it's not like a giant swath. But at the same time, I kind of wish that the uh, the wind rower worked. <laughs> but what do you do? You know, you just kind of suck it up. Now, what are we going to plant? That is, like, the biggest question. You know, what uh, What are we going to do with ourselves here? I think I want to try out oat. See what we can make off of it. Um, we'll get into, like, the high-value crops uh, whenever we move into, uh, into bigger stuff. Uh, we don't have a baler anymore, so I'm not going to do, like, straw bales or anything. So the addedness of the cereals would be 
kind of like lost to us, I guess. Whereas, uh, you know, like an oat or a canola, a soybean, a harvest of that nature would be pretty good uh, to, to start us off with as our very first crop in FS19. We'll take a look at all the stuff here in a minute. Really need a front weight, like, in the worst way. But I'm really glad that they added tractors like this. Um, this is what I like playing with. Um, you know, some people, your mileage may vary, you know. I really like the this generation of stuff. It's what I'm used to being, like, around. Um, it's what I see the most of. And, you know, the new stuff's cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we've got a couple new John Deere 40, uh, four wheel drives at work. And they're cool. But they just don't have... They got no soul, my man. They got no soul. So, to me, they're hit and miss. Some of them are absolutely epic. Most of them are not. Can I get a couple more? Do I want to... No, I don't really want to worry about the ditch. All right. So let's hit Y and turn that off. Pull this thing up out of here. And go get our cultivator and knock this stuff down and start planting. <coughs> okay, so I'm driving along this road here. We're full uh, up in field two. And would you look at this suspension actually, like, work? I'm probably going, like, way too fast for it now. But that is good-looking suspension work. I am, like, kind of thrilled about that. I mean, it's still just on the, uh, on the wheel ends. But it's a lot better than I'm driving through the force now. Um, <laughs> it's a lot better than what it was. Uh, I actually took a lot of time and made the, uh, the Euro mod, uh, which was, like, one of the first farming sim videos I ever did. Uh, I really, really wanted to use that mod on, uh, uh, Kleinhau, because I thought I was going to be epic YouTuber at the time. You know, uh, I can't really slow this tractor down. It's not been a good time. Um, but yeah, I, I really wanted to use this, uh, Euro on Kleinhau. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take this, you know, dilapidated mod. I'll fix it all up. And I did. I, I sat in town and I spent like a few days on it, fixing it up and, Getting, you know, the interior used to work correctly and, you know, just a bunch of things. Like, I spent a lot of time uh, on that. And one thing I really, really did was set up the uh, suspension and the gearbox settings and gear ratios and power and everything. When it was empty, it done, you know, it, it felt like you were actually driving the truck. When it was full, it was a beast. I mean, you had to just lay into it. I mean, there it, it could hold 20,000 liters, so basically, you know, like this dump bed um, full of uh, a grain or whatever, and that's what I used it for was a, uh, a grain slash log truck. And I remember getting uh, one of the dusty maps and... Uh, doing a lot of, like, testing on that map to get it to, uh, the suspension to work right because it had that, uh, long straight stretch of the placeable road, not placeable road, like the G, uh, off-road tracked roads. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a, uh, uh, a Giants Editor thing whenever you put it in the map. It was, like, the bumpy road, and I got it to, you know, go across there. And all the suspension to work correctly, and, uh, you know, it would slip on some things and not other things. It, it, I spent a lot of time, and I had a lot of fun making that mod. Great demand at Elevator East. Great, where we're taking this. What What is the great demand? Let's see. Is it the stuff we're actually taking? It's for wheat, I think. I don't know how to read. Yes, it is wheat. What do we have? We have barley. Oh, God. We could have died again. I am, like, so bad at this. 
like I'm so used to the brakes just hammering on and uh, you know the vehicle coming to a stop but there we go I don't know how close this will get to being done uh, but again this is one of those things you know we get the hopefully we get the leftovers Let's see what our contract's at. Our contract's at 64%. Alright, so let's see if it's a little bit more powerful with this thing. Oh yeah, there's no, like, slipping or anything. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of wheel slip. Nothing horrible. Nothing we can't uh, do without. So our, const our, our, our big thing is going to be land. We're going to need uh, a lot of land. And we're going to push for multiples of, like, the same tractors. Um, probably, like, a few of these uh, to start with. That way we can do multiple jobs uh, all at the same time. Uh, I'd like to have, you know, bigger tractors for, you know, certain jobs. Like, um, you know, the, the, the current contracts are, are pretty good. So, you know, doing a contract for... Let's say plowing. Okay, so that would tie up this one. Well, we also need one of these for whatever. Uh, because, of course, we're going to get bigger implements and stuff. So, we need to have multiple big tractors. M maybe not the same, same tractor. But I'll, I want a lot of, like, the same power, you know? Um, that way we can buy implements. And, you know, if we've got, like, a seeding job or something... We can just hook up to any tractor that's free at that second and go. And it would let us do uh, rotations. So, you know, I, I always want to be doing something. I always want to have something going. Um, so, you know, the contract work is pretty cool because we can do it uh, with a worker and uh, still make a little bit of money. Uh, it also doesn't uh, let a piece of equipment be, you know, not used uh whenever seizes is implemented i am interested to see how well that's going to work out because you know that was like the big thing you buy a harvester and you use it you know once a year and uh i think if seasons on the correct geo like if we could do the uh paraguay uh, Geo, which was like year-round crops, right? That's what we had on uh, Deterra Italica for a while. And, you know, you do harvest something, you know, almost year-round. So it, we could actually justify buying that instead of leasing it. So that would be pretty sweet. Um, because, you know, we had the big... Uh, oh, what was that thing? We had the big Versatile in Deterra Italica, and we we were using it, like, all the time. And it was the only time that I ever felt that I got use out of a Combine. Whereas, you know, in uh, some of the other maps that we played Seasons on, it was like, oh, okay, uh, I, bought a, I bought a Harvester. Uh, it's going to cost me money every single night, uh, you know, until harvest season. So it was better to lease the harvester than to actually own one because, you know, it, it just wasn't valuable then. So I think uh, the new mission system uh, may help out in that, and that would be, you know, pretty cool. Uh, that way we can keep, uh, keep all our equipment working. That, that's what I want more than anything. Yeah, the the cost of running and everything is going to be, you know, higher. I'm sorry, I'm in your way. I'm still in your way. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, we're going to have repairs and stuff like that. But that's realistic, you know. You're going to have repairs. You're going to have breakdowns. You're going to have fuel costs. 
in running a business. And uh, I think it's something that we can definitely account for uh, going forward. I think that that's going to be my thing is I want to be able to kind of run the farm as a year-round business using all the implements that we can all the time. Uh, that way they definitely are being used and they're not garage queens. Because to be fair, that was like one of my biggest complaints was uh, I just I felt like we had a lot of equipment that was just garage queens like 95% of the time in seasons. Uh, yeah, we could go out and do contract work for other people or not contract work. We could do jobs, but they use their own equipment. So the contracting thing is actually pretty cool in that regard, I will say. Like I am tickled that we can use our own stuff because uh, it does it helps negate the cost of it I mean we haven't f harvested anything with our harvester for us but it is out there every day making us money and yeah I, I think that that's a great like implementation of things I, I really do like it is a step in the right direction You know, you come to Seasons, and, you know, we got our harvest done like, the first day. Well, we've got two other days, or three other days, or however many, you know, day seasons we want to play. Well, hell yeah, we'll help out Jim the farmer next door, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll do, you know, his harvesting for him with our stuff. You know, things like that are, like, what I'm really looking forward to. That would make Seasons better for me. Um, because... You know, there, there's like a lot of times where I'm like, oh, we're out of stuff to do. Bear, bear change of the day. You know, go to the next season because we've planted our three fields or whatever we start out with. And it took a lot of it away from it, I think. Uh, because I, I've never been much on the, on like the really big, uh, big farms. Uh, like the smaller maps in seasons would be freaking cool. You know, you can be that guy. You can be the guy that does everything for everybody. Yeah, you see what I mean about, like, the wear and tear thing? Alright, we haven't dropped any fuel. But I've dropped... Almost uh, an eighth... Of our durability. And that doesn't make much sense. You know? Don't do that to me, game. <laughs> Let's keep it casual. Alright, so, the, the sign for oats... I need to know what it is. I think it's this one, right? So, I'm pretty sure that that's it. Like, that looks like oat. Uh, we can actually go look at animals, or the tutorial thing. Where are animals? Crops. Yeah. Yeah, oat. Because it goes corn, oat, yeah. OSR, potato, yeah. Okay, cool. So we do have oat selected. I don't know what it pays. What does it pay? Is it worth the one? 305? 305 to 330 with a low of 207. Um, I'm going to say that I'm okay with that. It's the same texture, but it's a, it's better. It looks better. Like, it's got some shadow to it. So it looks like it's got some depth to it. I'm pretty okay with that. All right, so our harvester is done. Uh, we need to go ahead and start looking for another job for him. 
harvesting in field 12 is that must be massive field 12 and you know what I think we'll do it too eight thousand dollars um field 12 is 13 acres that's not very big that is the job that we're gonna do next because that much uh wow the ground is like really really good um so that much if it's eight grand and it's over 12 acres there's like a high percentage of error allowed there so we can probably get a good chunk of extra crop off the top of that and if we had silos we could actually dump it into our own silo and keep it around oh god Uh, patch 1 point or 1 1.2 is in the beta right now uh, it's supposed to fix steering wheels is what I have understood so as soon as it goes live we will be using the wheel and hopefully everything will be good I have been told that that is what the patch is for plus you know other bug fixes like they're more than just wheels so and there's like uh, a few other bugs so, in other news, uh, this train's, like, in the way. Why is it here? It's also, like, off the tracks. It's so weird. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, in other news, uh, I am going to be talking to uh, some of the modders uh, about making a mod for the equipment that I get to use all the time. And it, it mm, it's going to be very hard. So uh, if like there's a video day that I'm not uploading, it's because I've spent like all night working on it. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take to make. I don't know how long it'll be until it's out. I haven't even started it. I have to start all the modeling process at some point this weekend. And um, I need to talk to Wobster uh, about the hose mod on how some of it is used. And what all we can do. Uh, so yeah, we got 500 extra dollars there. So this uh, this contract was 3,200, right? Uh, we have spent. If I go look at charts. One of these charts. We spent 1,846 today. Oh, that's in other workers too. So yeah, uh, they cultivated that field. Uh, that we were working in earlier. So, think that we'll be fine. So yeah, that paid for our worker usage today. So we can go ahead and complete this. And... Is this what we want? I believe that this is the one that we want. So let's go ahead and accept this contract. Alright, so that is what we're going to get started on in the next episode along with uh, our own stuff we've got 19 grand uh, and I think that we're, we're gonna make some progress here pretty quickly so yeah um, the mod thing is gonna be a, a hose reel system and a manure spreader that is a uh, uh, drawbar type so you know you'd be able to hook up to let's say uh, the the hose mod crone FRC the the big container and uh, you know, draw directly from it because the the draw bar stuff does not have a tanker. So I want to be able to have uh, you know a way for it to to move its own stuff around. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that uh, is going to take some time to do. I have to build a hose reel. I have to build build the draw bar. I have all the schematics from work. Um, so it like the measurements and everything. I don't have to worry about, which is kind of odd. Because most of the time, you know, it's like something that uh, that you've got to worry about is having the correct dimensions. But I have all that. I actually have good pictures of the, of the hose reel that we're going to use. But the reason I need to talk to Wobster is I need it to be a drag line. So that means making a hose that has um, its own, like, physical being. Even when it's tied up to something, like, um, it needs to be there but not there, right? So... Uh, it needs to show connection from either end and, uh, you know, how, how it's actually going to get used. 
so yeah that's it that is the the next project but uh, it could take a while it could take a very very long time I don't even know if it's something that we can get to work um, I've heard that people uh, have been trying to make the like an irrigation mod with hose reel and stuff and they say it's almost impossible but uh, we're gonna try it anyway we're gonna be those guys where is this field why is the tractor passing you on a berm guy but yeah that's where we're gonna leave it at for today I hope everybody enjoyed me rambling on I'm sorry if the saw, a saw noise you could hear it I'll try to edit it out and post if I can um, but yeah I want everybody to have a wonderful day and again if you like it let me know if you don't let me know why and I'll try to take care of it the best I can so yeah we'll see you in tomorrow's video and we're gonna just keep following along what's that's one of these things is not like the other <laughs> but yeah we're gonna oh it's a ball it's a shadow off the ball god dang that that's cool okay <laughs> yeah so we're gonna leave it there guys uh I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.